Hi, my name is Melissa. I am the technology librarian at the St. Paul Hollywood Library. Today, I would like to show you how to upload your resume to a job site. We're going to use Indeed today, but uh, it's, it's going to work across multiple websites. So I'm down here in the little uh, bubble down here at the bottom and so that you can see my computer screen as I work. You'll see here I have a document saved to my desktop. It's called Seabrook Resume. And really, that's probably the most difficult part about uploading your resume. For some people, might be finding your resume. So I find if I put an important document on my desktop, that it's very easy to find because it's right there. So let me just open that quickly, and you can kind of see what it looks like. Some basic formatting there. It's just a, a good basic res resume. You'll see down at the bottom, it says references are available upon request. Okay, so I'll close that out. And then I'm going to go, I'll click on my, using Google Chrome today. And I'm already logged into the Indeed site. So it's all ready and it's prompting me to upload your resume or build a new resume. Now, this is just part of the site. If you click on the profile on the little avatar up here in the right hand corner, if you get away from this site, you can also go to my jobs and uh, your account and sign out. But here's the res this is the resume. If you click right there, this is what this page looks like. So um, if I chose to build a new resume, that means I could just click there and it would ask my name and education and employers. And I would put all of that information that's on your resume into that. Um, and it would format the resume and build it for me. But it's a little bit easier to just upload your resume if you have one. So I'm going to click there. And it opens up. Now, I am using a Windows 10 computer. If you're using a Mac, it will look a little bit different. But it's going right to the computer's right to the files on my computer and you'll see it's it's going to my desktop because that's where I was last where I saved the Seabrook resume and so I'm going to select that you see the path though let's look at that so this PC desktop you could also be on documents and switch around that way but I'm going to select that Seabrook resume I could double click on that but I like to click on select open here on the bottom right hand corner of that dialog box and now it's uploading and it's uploaded very quickly all right now it wants you to review it now most job sites as you go to it and you select upload your resume that's it you're done now you've clicked upload or open and that resume has uploaded and you're moving on. Here on Indeed, it is wanting to me, me to review. So that looks good. I'll click next, next, next. And it's prompted me to add some skills. Yeah, let's add proofreading. And next. Okay, now I've got the online resume draft and I can look through that, close out that little pop-up, and that looks pretty good. Now it says, do you want this to be public or private? I'm gonna say private because it's not a real person. Um, I also have the options to download as a PDF, replace with a different resume. Also, you can go to the, to the help center. So let's download it and see what it's gonna look like. It's here in the corner. Let me click on that. Now you see the formatting has changed and that won't happen on a lot of the job sites. The references available on request, that's completely gone. They've got their own formatting. So just be aware of that, okay? I'll go back here, it looks fine to me. I'm going to click save and continue. And now it is online there. You see it's not searchable and I haven't applied for any jobs, what it's telling you. Now I do have, I'm gonna, do you have any of these skills? Really wants me to add some skills. I'm gonna dismiss that. But I have some options here. I can upload to replace a resume. I can download the resume, 
share link to resume, email it as an attachment, or request a professional resume review. I must admit, I don't know if there's a fee for that. That's something specific to Indeed. Um, there's the privacy settings, and then again, we can download or delete. At this point, I think it probably is a good idea to go ahead and download. And it has downloaded it as a Word document. I can open it back up. And you see that, yeah, it looks just like it did when I sent it. All of that is still there. So that, that's good to know. And that's it. It's all uploaded. Uh, if you have any questions about how to upload your resume, please give us a call at the library. You can call your main branch or you can call the tech team at 843-805-6885 and they would be happy to help you, especially with any uploading or software issues there. So thank you and good luck in your job search.